Hey, it's your boy Wano here, and I want to talk about channel sponsors and kind of the negatives about channel sponsors. Because obviously, when you think about a a sponsor for a video or like a segment of a video and, or, or something like that, the, the, the first thing that comes to mind is probably money, right? Well, yes, obviously, that is a huge source of income for a lot of creators, but there are a lot of downsides to it. And I just want to like get into that like in this video, because I don't see a lot of people talking about the downsides. I don't see a lot of people talking about the fact that you have to wait months for a reply uh, most of the time, unless you're probably a big creator. I don't know if it's like different with bigger creators. Like if if by some miracle, some bigger creator is actually watching this, uh, just let me know what, you know, <laughs> what, what your experience is. But yeah, I've had a bunch of crazy things happening in the past couple of months. And I don't want to name drop. Um, I might in the future if this keeps on happening, but like, I want to take you through the experience and what's been happening. Now, a few months back, I had a channel sponsor for a couple of videos, which I did. And that went pretty smoothly. Like it was an okay experience. Nothing too crazy happened. Nothing out of the ordinary happened and really negatively happened, I guess. Like it was a little bit back and forth, but nothing too crazy. But after that, I've gotten three different sponsored, like, I don't know, requests, you can call it. I think it might be a request, right? Either way, uh, which for the first one, they kind of said, hey, we want to sponsor your video or do like a few sponsored videos and stuff. When I go into collaboration with you, I think is the, like the, the actual term for it, right? And... Then they add things like very generic things like, okay, well, you can reach me on Telegram or you can reach me on Discord by this or that. And, you know, something similar to that regard, like, okay, we can answer you quicker if you, if you add us on Discord. And I'm like, okay, fine, fair enough. And I do that. I add them on Discord or they add me on Discord if I tell them, you know, this is my Discord, uh, I don't know, username, whatever you want to call that. And that's about where that ends. You're like, you, you are lucky if you actually get a reply, like some companies do end up replying you pretty fast in the like initial beginning. But for the first one that I got, and that was about three months ago, maybe two, two, three months ago, I got a collaboration offer and the company like contacted me on actually, no, wait, that was like six months ago, five, five six months ago. They contacted me on discord. And then it's like nothing further happened. They're like, went silent for, I don't know, three months, maybe three, three, four months. And then all of a sudden I got basically the same email from the same company and the same guy asking me if I want, like, I'm, if I'm interested in the collaboration, I was like, again, okay, yes, I can do that. I mean, I'm a very small creator. So this is basically the only actual viable income that I'm going to get from, from any of this. And they added me on Discord again, or like, talk to me on Discord again. And they were like, oh yeah, it's you. Sorry. Yes. Okay. And then nothing happened. I just, it just went silent. Basically nothing, nothing like progressed from that. That's the one company. The other company actually even offered me a job. Now this wasn't like, let's say a collaboration thing. It's more a like, side thing where, where they had like applications and stuff that you can work for them and do live streams for them and do stuff for them. But I'll get into that just a little bit later if you want to stick around for that. But let's go with the, with the other collaboration offer that I got. I want to say recently, kind of recently, it was about two, three, four weeks ago. The same thing. They just, they sent me an email asking if I'm interested in a collaboration, kind of just explaining we, you know, we are a skin gambling site, not in those specific words, but it's like a case opening site, right? A CS2 case opening site, but it's, it's all gambling at the end of the day, basically is what it is. I mean, if you're over 18, and you want to do that, go do that. I'm, I'm not going to tell you to, what to do, right? In any case, I was like, yeah, once again, I am interested in this, even though I kind of like wouldn't be able to work with another company because of the thing that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on, but we'll get to that in a second. They added me on Discord. Once again, same as all the others. They, we went back and forth for like, I don't know, a day, basically just like negotiating and stuff. 
And we came to almost of an agreement where they were like, okay, we just have to talk to the team, but um, just give me a little bit of time. I was like, okay, fine. I, I can respect that. I, I can respect that there's a process and there's like, you know, a, a, a very specific way of doing things. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you guys time. It's fine. And it's been like three weeks and nothing has happened. I have asked for an update and they just end up completely ignoring me. Like they completely ignore everything. And I'm I'm kind of growing tired of this happening because this is like the third time, maybe even the fourth time in like a few months that this has happened. Like this is the only actual viable source of income that I have. I don't make enough from live streams. I don't nearly make enough from, from AdSense. And like sponsorships and uh, collaborations are the actual only way that I can keep on doing what I'm doing. Like I can't keep on putting hours and hours, tens and hundreds of hours into my content and just not get anything back. I'm not a big enough channel to do that. Living expenses are a real thing and it's very expensive to live nowadays, right? So let's get into the like second, I want to say collaboration thing. So this company, they held kind of applications or something similar to, to be like a show host for them. And I put in my application, you know, you have to record a video and stuff like that. I put in my application, I sent it through, and they contacted me a few weeks later. This has happened like almost a year ago, right? Like, I don't know when it was. Like, in any case, it's been months, a lot of months at least. So they contacted me like, hey, you know, we want to do like uh, like an actual interview with you. And I was like, okay, oh shit, okay, awesome. Yeah, I can I can do that. And we scheduled an, uh, like an interview. I did the interview with them. They were really happy. And they were like, okay, you know what? You're on board. Awesome. We'll be getting things ready in the next week. And I was like, okay, fine. Awesome. I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited. And they kind of went silent for about, I don't know, a month, month and a half-ish. I don't know how how long it was. I'll I'll put it on the screen, right? And then they contacted me again. I was like, okay, you know what? Things have just been a little bit crazy this side. We, we are almost like we're, we're basically f- finalizing the things that uh, on our side and, and just finishing up everything. So we are going to like schedule a call in the next week so we can actually get the ball rolling. I, I got really excited, even though I've been waiting for a long time. Like it's been up, up until this point, it's been a few months now, for everything to get going. Right. Um, and when people say, you know what, we'll contact you in a week or we will schedule something in a week or hey you're part of our team and our business now i expect to be treated as somebody that's part of a business not somebody that they are like using from the outside to conduct business with if you tell me you know what i aced an interview i'm a part of the team and that's what they said in their words you are a part of the team congratulations right if i'm if i'm said to be a part of a team then I expect to be treated as somebody in the business. I expect to be treated with respect and be kept up to date when things happening, when things are happening. They told me I was going to be working with, well, in the interview, they told me I was going to be working with like bigger YouTubers uh, and or bloggers as they call them. And I, I mean, I got excited. Obviously, I'm excited about that. It's like most of them are my heroes. And who I look up to, like my idols on, on this on this platform, because I've been creating Counter-Strike content for four years now. I mean, obviously, I look up to them, right? Like most of the bigger creators. And uh, that's just one of the problems, like one of the actual things that they over-promise and under-delivered because nothing has happened. This has been months now. I think it's been like three, maybe four months now since the like, or maybe like even five months or since the like initial talks. And I'm I'm starting to get really tired of companies walking over you because not only did they promise that things are going to happen and give even like they even gave a time frame of when things will be happening, which they didn't even come close to actually doing because it's been three times or two or three times that they said, you know, this is going to happen in a week. Or this is going to happen in a week. And then nothing has happened. I haven't heard anything back. I even later like send them a huge message saying, you know what? I just want to like touch base. I want to, I want to just find out what's actually happening. And the thing is you guys 
told me that if I work with you, I can't work on my specific channel. I can't work with any other like CS2 skin opening sites. I can't because then I like, I mean, like kind of a breach of agreement, even though I haven't signed the contract yet. So I am not allowed to take any other sponsors for my channel, which means I lose all that money. And then at the same time, you guys are like keeping me on a very thin line and holding me somewhere to uh, at, or on a place where I'm like, okay, well, I'm not earning anything anymore. Now I went from maybe earning something whenever somebody decides to actually speak to me to not being able to earn anything. Like this is not a few hundred bucks or like 10 or 20 rand that, 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 that you lose. This is like thousands that you lose over, over an, like an extended period, obviously. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired that the companies keep walking over you and like treating you like trash at the end of the day, because yes, we are small creators, but we're not going to stay small creators forever. Like we, most of us that, that, that keep on pushing and pushing and pushing, we end up eventually growing and getting somewhere. And it just makes it difficult. Like they, they kind of give us these obstacles that's basically impossible to get around because I mean, fair enough. If you don't say you're going to sponsor this channel, I won't care. If you don't say you want to do a collaboration, I won't care because I won't know, right? But don't tell me that you want to do a collaboration, that you want to sponsor a video or maybe even a few videos or like a live streams or whatever the case may be, and then just don't do it. Don't tell me that I am a part of your business and you want to do live streams with me and like let me be a part of your whole business principle and do like live streams with other bigger CS YouTubers and stuff like that and just then ignore me for months. I am tired of this. It just, it doesn't make sense. I don't know if uh, some of you guys are maybe like small creators watching this video right now. Let me know in the comments if you have actually had things like this happen to you. Like what is your experience around this whole situation? Have you had any like bad experiences with collaborations and sponsors? I would really actually love to know. And again, share this around so more people can actually see that, you know what, maybe there is something wrong with the business principle of collaborations and sponsors, like sponsor companies or whatever. And let the ones that actually care come through instead of the ones that don't care about you as a creator. All right. In any case, that's all that I wanted to say. If you want to like, you know, keep on watching something like this and see where my anxiety has led me, watch a video on your screen right now. Peace. I'll see you there.